visible screen is visible yes sir what about rohit yes sir yes yes okay great we're going to start the demo now uh, myself lovepreet verma i'm the founder of this company i personally take demo classes and this demo will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes if you would have any question in between you can ask me at any point of time all right so guys we are the first institute in india having phd english experts in our team and our all trainers are idp and bc certified so you're going to get training from certified experts only in normal centers normal companies those hire those companies hire trainers who achieve 6 each or 7 each like student turn into trainer but we don't hire such freshers we have only experienced trainers those who have intensive experience in this domain every day zoom live instructor led classes will be there monday to friday saturday there will be mock test sunday we share resource material one and half hour to one hour 45 minute class will be there two to three module will be covered on every day basis apart from this we'll give you one digital account that will be validate for 6 month whether you going to join for 1 month or 2 month will give you the material for 6 month and this digital account access will be valid for 6 month it would have 160 plus practice test reading listening writing speaking plus 5 full length mock test apart from this will give you one mobile application in which you can review your own sessions like every session is going to be recorded at the back end every day so that student can review it by next day so you will be able to see your own recorded sessions next day in your right in your mobile uh, what was the topic taken by trainers how you performed so everything will be there plus you will be able to see 200 plus previous sessions from different trainers so for an example if you miss any class still your concept will not be missed you will be able to review your class next day regular assignments will be there regular feedback will be there now this is the digital account that we going to provide you uh, rohit is it uh, fine with you you just uh, have uh, yes sir now it's fun actually actually i had uh, my particular zoom account of byju's where i am working right now na Mm -hmm. so that was a recorded session that's why i had ended up that meeting i am joining joined with my personal account right sir right so are okay. you also teaching the same thing no i am not in i'm not i'm not in teaching domain of values i am in sales all right got it yeah so sir um, as i said we have certified trainer zoom live mm -hmm. instructor classes every day one account will provide you that will be validate for 6 month it would have 160 plus practice test full length practice test five full length mock test regular assignment regular will be there regular feedback will be there mobile application we will provide you in which you can review your own sessions plus previous 200 plus sessions from different trainers so this is the account which we going to provide you complete as a complimentary in the package i'm going to show you this account in the live interface is this account is visible to both of you guys it says win your english logo here verma is written here rohit yes, yeah, sakshi yeah. okay sure yeah thank you so after enrollment will give you this kind of account same account and this will be validate for 6 months you can also transfer this account to one of your friend or colleague once you clear your exam and if this could have validity available So once you click on online test, you will be able to see two domains: IELTS Academic, IELTS Journal. You will have an access to both of these domains, and the material will be unique. You will not find any of the test or any material in any book, not even in Cambridge. We have entire uh, team for this. We have built this material at our own. So if you click on IELTS Academic, you will be able to see five full length academic mock test. 152 minutes 82 question it's going to be similar just like real ielts exam once you will finish listening reading will start automatically once you will finish reading uh, writing will start automatically so you can attempt these five mock tests at your own end if you click on academic readings there will be five sections every section further going to be have five test so 5 into 
25 readings will be there academic readings will be there 40 questions 60 minute every test is going to going to be time bounded test just like real IELTS exam 40 question you have to finish in less than 60 minutes so once you will attempt any test you will be able to see the analysis right away how many score you know how many bands did you get how many right you did how many wrong you did if you click on listening again you would find 25 listening task would be there if you click on academic writings again there will be five section and every section going to be have five further sections and every further section going to have two question writing task one writing task two 60 minutes so five into two 10 10 into 5 50 you're going to have 50 writing test test over here similarly you would have speaking test as well similarly in case of journal if you're a student of journal ielts training five full length journal mock test will be there 25 journal readings will be there 25 listenings will be there 50 journal writing tasks will be there speaking will be there apart from this guys if you go to our website winyourenglish.com in the download section you will be able to see mobile application once after the enrollment will provide you the link once you will download it add the license key that we will provide you after enrollment if you're a student of journal or academic you will be able to see screen just like this and just like this you will be able to see your own video sessions plus previous 200 plus sessions so guys i just showed you two things that we are providing that is unique in itself one account and second is mobile application and mobile application will be validate validate for six months as well this is kind of schedule guys we uh, have monday to friday classes will be there saturday there will be mock test two to three module will be covered on everyday basis vocabulary session will be there every day speaking will be there every day because most of the students facing trouble in speaking and writing domain in india so we are putting some extra emphasis on these two modules so on monday listening speaking vocabulary session will be there apart from this reading and writing assignments will be there, will be there so every day you're going to get writing assignment for sure speaking live speaking will be there no group discussion one to one speaking our groups are very much focused we do not give admission to non sincere students so you will find our groups just, just like more like one to one kind of training so monday to friday classes will be there writing assignment will be there on every day basis speaking will be there every day basis two to three module will be covered every day saturday all four module will be assessed your trainer will evaluate your performance every saturday sunday we share blogs study material videos and tips so that we can add value to your learning so guys uh, this is how our trainer will evaluate your task in the groups once you will get, get any assignment for an example you get writing task two assignment in your whatsapp group we'll add you in a small whatsapp group where your trainer will be there and once you will share your assignment, once you will share your assignment, your assignment will be picked by the trainer and he or she will just, you know, uh, give you the, ex explain you the exact evaluation as per IDP and BC standards, task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. Every parameter will be assessed in detail and provide you the detailed feedback. Guys, now I'm going to show you uh, there is one new participant. Manu, is my voice is audible? Screen is visible? Uh, Manu, is my voice is audible? Screen is visible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So now I'm going to show you guys uh, how our listenings will be there in the real classes. So initially on the listening day, basically initially five to 10 minutes will be spent by the trainer uh, to inform you about the tips and training, what type of listening questions will be there in the real IELTS exam, where to focus, where not to focus. For an example, if you would, if you are having trouble in solving map kind of questions, you can ask your trainer, I'm having issue in these kind of questions. And then he or she will explain you the logic behind it, how to solve it. Once, your trainer will explain tips and training for five to 10 minutes. He or she will ask you to write down numbers from one first till 40th on your notepad 
on your notepad once you will write down 1 to 14 number on your notepad so that you can write down the answers of the listings and this kind of video will be played at front of you i'm going to play it just for 30 seconds guys so you will you will get to know the quality of the listening i'm going to play it just for 30 seconds listen carefully before you hear the rest of the conversation you have some time a buzzing vibrant area of the city which is also home to one of the city's fastest growing communities the nearby university has always questions 21 to 24 section 4 you will hear part of a lecture about noise in cities work will suffer uh, so guys was that audible all of you uh, manu rohit sakshi was that audible to you yes sir yes, yes sir okay great so this kind of uh, video will be played at front of you once you will write down 1 to 14 numbers on your notepad and once you will write down first till 40th answers the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer and he or she will dictate you all the answers from first till 40th and still if you would have any doubt for an example 28th you got a instead of c you can ask your trainer i got a of 28th and why it is c then he or she will go back to 28th question and explain you the logic behind it why it is c and why it is not a now i'm going to show you how the readings will be there similarly 5 to 10 minutes will be spent by the trainer in tips and training what type of you know reading questions will be there where to focus where not to focus after that this kind of reading screen will be shown to you you will do 3 to 4 this kind of readings on reading day your trainer will explain you how to read the instructions because this is very important after that he or she will let you know how to read the questions how to mark the keywords once you will read the questions you will be given 8 to 10 minutes to read the paragraph so once you will read the paragraph in 8 to 10 minutes you will come up with certain answers the real answers will be shown to you and st if still you would have any doubt like 12th you got c instead of b you can ask your trainer i got c and why it is e then he or she will go back to 12th question and explain you the logic behind it why it is e and why it is not c why i'm saying that that you would have full freedom to ask your trainer any question any query if you would have now i'm going to show you guys how to get more than seven bands in writing task just pay full attention to the screen it will take approximately more 15 minutes so writing is a major pain area for majority of students we our entire team on continuous continuously basis we attend idp and bc seminar so we get to know what are the in depths and interview cases are there so basically there are four pillars four parameters on which the writing score is going to be assessed first is task achievement and response coherence and cohesion lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy now all these parameters having 0 to 9 bands if you get 6 band here in task achievement and response 7 in coherence and cohesion 5.5 in lexical resource 6.5 in grammatical range and accuracy then the average of these four will be your writing band score now what is task achievement and response task achievement and response implies how you going to achieve the task how you going to response the task for an example as introduction alone has three essential factors for an example background information paraphrase the statement thesis statement if you miss any of these three essential factors you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response similarly if you will write down less than 250 words in writing task 2 still you won't get full bands of task achievement and response third condition if you will write down irrelevantly you will not write down to the point 
question is asking about hills you are writing you are writing about the sea irrelevant so if, if irrelevancy will be there you won't get the full bands of task achievement and response similarly coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between ideas paragraphs as well as lines an ideal writing task too must be linked from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion a perfect connectivity should be there with the help of connectors moreover furthermore besides in addition to that additionally firstly secondly thirdly just like that lexical resource means what type of vocabulary you going you going to use some student just use high vocabulary words some student just use average one we have seen that many of the student just use very high vocabulary word like super flory language still they don't know the meaning of those words and that thing eventually lessen their bands because that vocabulary word eventually alter the entire meaning of the passage so we will not use any vocabulary which we will not show sure up grammatical range and accuracy implies what type of sentence structure you going to use whether you going to use simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence or complex compound sentence or you going to write down in passive voice even punctuation matters so we teach are all students how to work on these four pillars four tasks constructively this is the game of four pillars to get higher bands in writing tasks i will explain each and everything in detail in upcoming slides so these are the five basic type of essay types guys any one type of essay can come in the real life exam opinionating essay will be there advantage disadvantage essays discussion essays will be there problem solution essays will be there direct question essays will be there now every type of essay is having its own special unique treatment we cannot apply one treatment to all of the essays so we teach our all students in the classes how to deal with these all type of essays individually now this is the higher band essay structure guys if you want to take a screenshot of it you can if you will follow this structure in writing task 2 you will definitely get more than 7 bands for sure now as i said introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement now what is the background information background information is an information which tells something about the topic in the past so we have to show the extent from the past till the present for an example in yester years or in previous years people used to wear simple clothes but with the advent of modernization and globalization masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing now we have shown the extent here like what was happened in the past and what is going on these days i use the word masses masses is the synonym of people so we will not use people people again so we'll use synonyms so this is the background information due to time sensitivity in the real life exam sometime it's hard to make the background information in that scenario we can write down a journal comment these days people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization that is a general comment plus paraphrase the topic paraphrase basically is an art you have to convert the question into your own words in the introduction you cannot write down the exact question in the introduction you have to paraphrase it with the different words some people believe that others are against to this just like that plus thesis statement now thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader that what we going to write down in further body paragraph i am going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraph or upcoming paragraph so a long thesis statement will indicate the reader that what the student is going to write down in body paragraph secondly it builds the connection between or linkage between introduction and body paragraph remember coherence and cohesion so thesis statements basically builds coherence and cohesion now in body paragraph it has been seen that many of the students just write down so many points like 10 15 points and they end up with 5 or 5.5 bands why because they fail to elaborate they fail to justify the point 
IDP and BC people says you have to just write down one point in one paragraph, explain it well, support it with example. That's it. Your paragraph is ready to write down writing task two. You just need two to three points. I will show you this thing in upcoming slides. In conclusion, you need to sum up the entire gist of the essay, crux of the essay. You have to rephrase your opinion as well. First, you need to paraphrase the opinion. Then you can rephrase with the different word in the conclusion as well. Entire writing task two should not be less than 250 words. It, if it would have 249 words, still you will be penalized. You will not get task achievement and response. Don't go beyond 300 words. Keep the average between two, keep the words between 260 to 280. Some, some people thinking how to count the words. So guys, you can count one line. If there would be 10 words and you have written 26 lines, you would be on the safer side. Any question at this point? No, sir. Uh, no, no, sir. No, sir. All right. Great. So guys, in our every class, we have brainstorming sessions. We'll do the same. Now, you guys have to give me the points. This is the real question. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? So guys, uh, I would appreciate if you will participate. If not, just observe the class, but I will really appreciate if you will participate it. Just imagine yourself, you're living alone in Canada, in a basement on work visa, or, you know, as a student visa on student visa. Imagine yourself, you're living alone. What would be the advantages of living alone? Just give me points, not lines, one by one. Manu Rohit Sakshi. Advantages of living alone. Firstly, less expense. Okay, less expensive. Yes, no doubt. Expenses would be lesser than the family. Okay. Yeah. There will be more freedom. Wonderful. Great point. One can enjoy One, full yeah. freedom. Yeah. No restrictions will be there. No foundations mm. will be there. Yeah, good point. Next, please. Sakshi. Uh, living alone. Sakshi. Just imagine yourself, guys. Use the power of imagination. One become independent. Uh, yes, one will become independent. Come, yes, and uh, become responsible. Yes, one will become more responsible. Okay, guys, think about this. What what new you know skill you will learn once you will be there in Canada? Life skills will be added. Sorry, life skills will be added on. Okay, yes, what type? We of? can. Uh... So, what is the basic skill one would learn if he or she live in Canada or anywhere in the world? Basic skill. Think about basic things. Basic people. Adjusting well, himself or herself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, Rohit, Rohit, tell me, just imagine yourself, you're living alone in Canada. What the first thing you will do there to survive? The what main, yeah, the, the, I think about the only one thing that I should think of is that I can adjust anywhere. Means only single person can adjust anyhow. But okay. on the same manner, if we'll be with family or two or mm -hmm. three persons, then we have to move according to them also. Okay. But if a person is single, he can anyhow manage. So, yeah. So guys, I understand that, that thing. But the basic thing one can learn if he or she doesn't know is cooking, right? Yes. <laughs> Think about Become it. Independent. Right? Nee, independent mean well, independent is a wider it is a wider term. But you hmm. have to clarify. So okay. people people learn new skills, right? Such as okay. explore uh, so many Life things, today. explore new culture. Yeah, cooking. You'll get to learn so many things. Yes, yes, we will add. We come to that. So first thing is cooking, 
cleaning of house, cleaning of utensils, right? So many of uh, you know guys, uh, you know male people, male doesn't know how to cook their food. So once they go, you know, abroad, they learn new skills such as cooking, cleaning their house utensils, washing their clothes, right? So why I'm saying that? Always think from the basic. So once you will, you know, think from the basic, you will have enough points. So people learn new skills such as cooking, cleaning of house, budget management, right? Yeah. Budget management. You will get to know. You will earn money. You will discipline. Yes. Yeah, discipline as well. So you will in budget management. You can write down. You will earn money. You will spend money. Uh, you know. You will save yeah. money. So you will come to know financial skills as well. Yes, one will. It depends. Discipline depends upon person's pers. You know. A personality basically are brought up some people become more disciplined some even don't right what another advantages of living alone guys full freedom will be there independent one will become independent one will learn new skills or one will embrace to new hobbies okay. such as yes. swimming dancing reading books yeah. meditation gardening lots of things right okay. what another point could be so what another we can add one will learn a most okay. important to heal the and earn earn so one will learn while, the while learning yeah while learning he'll try to do so okay how so yeah you can say more exposure will be there uh, so one will learn one yes. one will you know expose to new culture people situations languages right so more exposure will be there and what another point could be one will learn the true value of family because sometime we live with the family we don't you know worth the relation we don't worth yep. the value of the family and once we start living apart from the family we come to know the real worth of the family like how family was important okay good enough guys now tell me the biggest disadvantage of living alone the biggest one financial crisis okay yes financial mm -hmm. crisis financial crisis yes because in family settings two three walking hand would be there and they you know share the financial budget and those who live alone they have to bear all the expenses alone like mortgage their own insurance car insurance no doubt grocery expenses are lesser but other expenses almost same so yes financial crisis but what is the biggest one like people are facing these days those who live alone accommodation uh no that depends so, okay. Very good point. Yes, yes. Who said this? Manu, right? No. Sakshi. <laughs> Home sickness. Yes, this is the you know biggest problem in in this universe these days. So due mm -hmm. to those who live alone, they feel homesickness. Majority of the new immigrants, and due to homesickness, people feel loneliness, and due to loneliness, people fall into depression or bad company. Right. So we have to basically we have to work functional. We have to think like this. Uh, uh, we have to make one parent line parent point like people feel, feel homesickness and due to homesickness, they feel loneliness due to loneliness. They may fall into depression or bad company. This is the organization of ideas. So if you will organize your ideas, you will get coherence and cohesion bands. Right. Okay. What another point could be disadvantage of living alone? We covered financial crisis. We covered homesickness. Uh, new to the system. Okay, so we can say no one will be there to help. Yes, exactly. So you have to do all the activities alone. Even, I mean, due to you know covid scenario and even covid is going on and those who used to live yes. alone and suffered from covid they know how hard it was to live alone right so yeah those who live alone they have to do all the things alone so lack of family support lack of guidance as well 
lack of safety if he or she is living alone and bad people come to know they may take advantage of it right any other point guys so just imagine you are living alone what would be the disadvantages of living alone sir yes, lack please. of a family support home sickness mein nahi aa jayega home sickness means he is feeling lonely right and you can, uh, you, can you can do that uh, basically you, you can uh, make a parent line and in that parent line you can write down subordinate line so basically we are writing points so entire purpose of writing this is let you know like you have to whatever the point you will write down it should be relevant hmm. so okay. see every topic has thousands millions of points even yes. exam examiner knows that will not write hmm. down all the points yes the purpose behind this brainstorming activity is that we will write down all the points then we'll select some selective points and elaborate those points and justify those points in the writing task to to get higher banks so okay. every day yeah every day guys in the writing session basically there will be brainstorming session the idea behind you know to show you guys this session is that you will get to feel that how our classes would be there in the real time why we have integrated it because as per our research we have seen that when student go and face the real ielts exam or real examination condition they feel blank over there like points are not coming to their mind to overcome this kind of disability we have integrated this session in our classes so that you would have enough points in the real ielts exam once you will start your brain will start functioning in this direction to you know creating content so creation of content is the key to get higher ranks so in the real ielts exam you will have enough points once you will do these kind of practice in our classes on regular basis so thank you so much guys those who participated uh, you all participated basically thank you so you're welcome thank so you. now i'm um, you're welcome all of you so basically uh, now i'm going to describe the same question using this method so just pay attention to the screen now in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development so guys we can attempt this kind of question in three ways we can write down all the paragraph in the positive manner or we can write down all the paragraphs in the negative manner or we can balance the statement we can see that it has more positive consequences than the few negative ones so we will show that it has negatives as well like 70% positive 30% negative will not uh, write down like 50% positive and 50 negative that's going to be contradicted so we have to show the extent these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there see the length of the sentence it's a complex sentence in which we covers journal comment and paraphrase together now in the question it is being asked do you think this is a positive or negative development we have to answer it in the introduction that what we are thinking i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers so we have shown our side that what we are thinking and what we going to write down it let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion this is the thesis line which basically indicates the reader or the examiner that what we going to do in further body paragraph plus it also links the introduction with the body paragraph now in the body paragraph what we have to do we need to write down one point we have to elaborate it we have to justify it with the example so what is the first point the single person family those who live alone we call it single person family is seen to be positive ki ye positive hai kaise hai from better personal skill development aspect and economical perspective do cheezon se ye positive hai to live alone kaise hai kyun hai why it is positive that we going to discuss now that is the part of elaboration a single member family now we shuffle the words as i said 
uses synonyms or different words. A single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills, including cooking, cleaning of cleaning the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies and many more important skills. So we have covered first point till this point. Now we're going to touch the economical perspective. This makes someone self-dependent, which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. In a broader sense means if one will become self-dependent, he or she will earn money, he or she will pay taxes, which will eventually be beneficial for the economical perspective. So we have covered how it is better as per economical perspective. For instance, for example, research shows that students who stay away from their home for their tertiary degrees, higher degrees, learn more skills and become more self-dependent than pupils who study from home. So here we have shown the comparison of those students who study from home and those who live far from home and study. So if you show the comparison, that's amazing. This is here. We have given this example to support our main point. You can make the example, you can fabricate the example, up example, bana sakte hai. It is not important, it, is, it should be from any journal or newspaper or magazine, no. You can make it. The idea behind it, it should be supporting to your main point. Now, in the second paragraph, we'll do the same thing. As we have balanced the statement, we have written the 70% kind of positivity in the first paragraph. In the second paragraph, we'll write down 30% negative. Now, from the opposite viewpoint, the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well. So we have touched the negative part as well. Kiske kuch negatives bhi hai. Kaise hai, kyun hai, that we're going to describe now. The increasing trend of living alone has a direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problems these days. Those who live alone suffer more from psychological problems these days. Living alone creates loneliness and depression. Whereas those who live in a family settings always find someone to share their sadness and stress. So guys, again, we have shown the comparison of those who live alone and those who live in the family settings. So it's always better to show the comparison to get higher ranks. The isolation, isolation is the synonym of loneliness, often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative because no one would be there to stop. For example, Cassie, a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one would be there to stop. The human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency. For many, bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes because they find uh, you know, themselves in financial crisis. They opt another way. So what we did write down one point, we elaborated from this point till this point, we cite an example to support our main point. That is the entire idea behind writing task two. In conclusion, we have to use some concluding lines to sum up at the end to encapsulate. Encapsulate is word which is derogated from capsule. You know, the drug capsule, which has medicine in it, so encapsulate is derogated from that word. To encapsulate, the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era or modern era. And this has omnifarious. Omnifarious is the synonym of various. And this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences. So guys, we reinforced our idea in the conclusion as well with the different words. This is called rephrase. First, we paraphrased in the introduction, then we rephrase in the conclusion. Hence, one can learn numerous cardinal skills, important skills of life if he or she chooses to live alone. So guys, this is the end of writing task to kindly update me if you have any question. I just, uh, you know, all clear, sir. All clear. Okay.
Yes. So I used uh, the same pattern, this pattern to explain this uh, problem, this question. Okay, any question, Rohit? Sakshi, Manu, no question? Uh, no, no question, sir. Okay, great. All right. At the end of every section, guys, there will be speaking section. Basically, in speaking section, your trainer will give you situation, cue card, or he or she will ask you the random questions. And in speaking section, we teach our student various techniques like spider diagram, how to prepare in less than one minute. Basically, in cue card section, there are three section speaking domain. First is journal question. The entire speaking test will take approximately 11 to 14 minutes, which would have three sections. First is journal question, where your examiner will ask you question from the journal scenario, like tell me something about your previous studies, your hometown, just like that. In the second section, the examiner will give you one cue card just like this. And he or she will ask you to prepare in less than one minute and speak up for minimum two minutes. Now, how to prepare in less than one minute? We teach our students various techniques like spider diagram, WH techniques and others. With the help of that, you will be able to prepare in less than one minute. And after that, how to speak up more than two minutes. We also teach some techniques like use the power of imagination. So basically in cue card guys, first you need to introduce the topic in one to two lines. Some students prolong the introduction and forget about other things. Then they got lesser band in speaking. Only one to two lines are required to introduce the topic. Quickly cover these bullet points as quickly as you can cover these bullet points, conclude the topic in one to two lines, lines, add a connector. Furthermore, moreover, addition to this, you can extend the topic as much as you want. How to extend the topic? Use the power of imagination. Now, how to use the power of imagination? Guys, you can add even those things or even content in your speaking, which is not existing. If someone would ask you to describe your hometown, town, describe it as Toronto, Michigan, Melbourne. Examiner is not going to check the facts. If someone would ask me to describe my hometown, I would say I live at Ludhiana. It is a cosmopolitan. We have a beautiful lake on Southern side where people love to visit in the evening. We have skyscrapers. We have world's renowned university in our city and we have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having perfect infrastructure, just like this. Whether those things are there or not, Still, we can say that examiner is not going to check the facts of the conversation. He or she is going to check the fluency, sentence structure, uh, whether you're going to achieve the task or not, uh, your confidence level, gestural language, grammatical, you know, uh, errors. These things going to be assessed, but not the facts. So this is how we help our students to generate content in the speaking exam as well. After cue card session, there will be follow up question session. So follow up question would, uh, you know, have the similar questions as per the cue card. So guys, this is the end of the demo class. If you would have any question, update me. I showed you how the, you know, how to get more than seven bands in writing section. I showed you how readings will be there in our classes, how listening is going to be their classes. And I showed you the, you know, writing assessment criteria, our schedule. This is the account which will provide you for six months. This is the mobile app that we're going to provide you for six months. Any question, guys? No questions, sir. All clear and really enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Manu. Thanks a lot. Rohit, Sakshi, any question? Uh, one question. Yes, How sir. many sessions are there? So as I said, Monday to Friday classes will be there. Saturday, there will be mock tests. For one hour or two hours? Uh, the class will uh, approximately will be from one and a half hour to one hour 45 minutes. Because we have, uh, you know, done intensive research on this and students won't be able to hold their attention more than one hour 45 minutes. 
you cannot uh, you know sit at front of screen for three hours or even trainer can't so we have uh, made this program after so much research so that student can get higher bands one more thing i would like to uh, show you guys just go to google and explore our brand when you're english you will come to know the reputation of our brand we are government registered brand and uh, you can see our latest posts as well on the google you can see our results as well once you will go there if you go down you would be able to see until today we have 129 five star reviews guys not even single review having four star rating our Wait, student sir. yes please so every these are shared by our students you can see their results as well so until today we have 129 five star reviews zero negative comment or zero negative review guys it's a wonderful thing for a company to have 129 five star reviews and you can also see our results as well these are the latest results guys you can see their uh, uh, trf as well on the you know internet so if you would have any query any question guys get back to me you can explore about our brand on internet as well for the authenticity purpose thank you so much uh, manu rohit and sakshi for sparing your wonderful time i'm obliged and have a great evening good night thank you sir